And we're back! Harvest is upon us, but we better run fast because it is going to be raining in like three hours in game. And I'm leaving it on times one. Let's see what happens. If you missed the past couple episodes, we've got a lot of cattle now. I mean, there's there's actually quite a few in here, uh, but whatever that number adds up to. 300. Yeah, there you go. We've also got a lot of milk, 178,000 liters, but we're going to wait until the end of the year to sell it. Straw is also going down, which is a bit of a problem considering that no manure is spawning in there. I'm not quite sure where it's spawning, but yeah, it's not there. And we have over 300,000 liters of slurry, which is fantastic. We also got a new combine harvester in the last episode too, and I bought a smaller header for the one that we had. I don't know. Hopefully that fixes things. So here's the game plan. We are going to start our rye harvest first so that I can hire them up on a worker and get them rocking while we go through and get our grass harvested. We're going to be doing the same thing with the grass harvest that we have been doing recently. So uh, the big field to our left right here, that is going to be hay. And then we will take the other fields and make them silage, which should turn out pretty well. Also, this is a super beautiful field of rye just waiting to be harvested oh i'm so happy we're here apparently the worker got a little bit too close to the edge over here so that's not gonna work very well maybe i can hire him up on a worker here nope um he just quit and i'm sitting here running over all my crop what in the world just happened? I guess doing it myself was the best way to do it all along. Uh, I did forget that the first time around through here, especially when we got really close over there to the grain cell point, caused us some problems. If you remember earlier on in the season, we went through and kind of plowed that up and made some extra extensions on the field. Yeah, that wasn't a good idea. After three passes all the way around, we're at 70,000 liters on here already. That is so much! Enough to where I actually have to come through and do a little bit of carting already. Wasn't ready for that yet. While we're working on that, because I didn't set the unload speed fast enough, let's jump in here where it takes 10 minutes to start up and uh, hire him up on a worker on the other side of the field. All right, well, there is one hired up. Should be doing good. We did the same thing with the planters last episode and it seemed to work okay, so I'm not gonna worry too much about it. We are gonna need to do a little bit of carting though, so be ready for that. Let's hire this guy up on up. And we should be okay at least to let them do for a little while. And then we get to mow. Oh, I love mowing in the game. It's so much fun. Especially when it's something as ridiculous as this setup. Oh, I love it so much. Let's go and open that up. Bring them around town. Good to go. Check on the front. Yes. Got that in the right spot. Wait, no, we don't. That's going to go with the center. How do I change it? There we go. All right. <laughs> Now we can actually do some tatting and get all of that taken care of and done the right way. All right, mower first, turn that on, and then our tatter will turn that on and go. Man, tell you what, this has been one of the easiest things ever. Now, of course, I could come through here if I wanted to and do this a different way. I mean, there's mowers that have conditioners built into them. But why do you need that when you got something like this? This is more fun anyway. I should probably move this out of the way real quick. That's going to become a problem. I may should have taken a little bit more time to make this look good because I have just demolished this poor field all with just hay and everything. Ugh, looks awful. But this field is actually looking really, really good. A uh, little close over here. But the new header seems to be working really well on the, the case combine, the old one. And on the new one, everything's working great too. I, it's kind of hard to complain. This is working out really well. Still need to come up with a better way to get this thing into here. Yeet. <laughs> There's got to be an easier way than that, right? I mean, come on. Any, any ideas? A ramp, maybe? Actually, a ramp may not be a bad idea. All right, let's kick everything out towards the outside. Grass, drop it, done, go. Sweet. This is all going to be salage. Finally, we got some action over here on the harvested field. One of these guys is almost full, but I don't know which one. Ah, probably the flashing one. This guy. Sometimes you can catch these guys at the very end of a row. Maybe try and get close enough to where the auger will come out, and they'll just stop. They'll also do that at the other end of the field, too. There we go. Got him. On top of that, it looks like the other combine's gonna need it as well. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come through and just cart for him right here on this end of the field. Man, 
He slowed down, then he sped up, then he slowed down again, then he sped up again. Probably not in that order specifically, but close enough, right? Close enough. Not only did that work out quite nicely, uh, we were also doing pretty darn good right now. Let's eat out of there. There we go. Uh, combines are getting a little close to each other down here. You know what? I, I think what I might do is just fire. Uh, they're, they're both not coming back. So let's just take this one since it's empty and we'll fold them up. Let's see if we can get this last swath coming down through here. Just a little bit closer to this guy. Oh, once we come pick it up, we can just pick both those up at the same time. Something else I noticed is the smaller combine harvesters left a little bit here and there. And I don't like that too much. So we are going to come through and, well, get all of that. And I could probably do this at first person as well, since it's not too bad. There we go, we got that. I am running straw swath as well, but I really just don't care where it drops it. You can see down through here, quite a few spots. On the top side, we've got some spots here as well. Look at this one. Let's go, bam, one liter. And some much larger spots here as well. Oh man, that was four liters right there. Man, you're making me miss stuff. A few larger pots up here as well. Boom, we got that. And one more here. Boom, we got that too. All right. That is it. That is everything. Let's get this last bit unloaded and see what our total number of rye would be. And it would be 261,854 liters. It's a lot of money. And the sell everything is taking it. I would go to the green sell point or something like that and, and try and buy something. But honestly, I don't think you can use rye in any of the productions or at least none of them have been modified to. Yet selling it's bringing in quite a good amount of money as well, $278,000. We could have done better, we could have done worse, and I'm happy either way. Because at the end of the day, it's not the grain I wanted off of this field. It's all of this straw. I guess I could have mowed it as well, but eh, it's a little bit easier to do it like this. That's what I wanted. We're also going to be doing a lot of bailing today, which is going to be a lot of fun. I, I don't know how many bales we're going to be getting. It's going to be a lot. Coming through, getting this grass done now so we can make some silage. Oh, and uh, I got a big surprise for this field. It's a boring surprise, but it's a surprise. All right, we got everything taken care of, and we will eat that. Ooh, that was a good yeet clean it. Now for the bailing. We got our Puma 240 on here. You know, it's been kind of nice. Of all the stuff and all of the things that we've done on this series so far, haven't needed anything bigger than this. It's been really nice. As a matter of fact, we could use the other tractor be just fine. I kind of, well, let's clean that. There we go. Um, that's mods called instant wash, by the way, in case anybody's curious. This is a kind of a nice little setup. Yeah, we do have straw in here, so probably would be best to do the straw bales first. Let's cut the lights on. Let's drop the bell down and turn it on yeah. oh it slowed it down oh yeah that's right so with this one if you want to do fast farming and you're doing the 50,000 liter bales you can because it physically can't fill up fast enough as long as you've got normal ish swaths like this so we have done very very good on this field just dropped another bale we are creating uh, some of a bale we really should have Pick this up like that, but you know what? There it is. We got some. Made 21 bales. 21 on this field, which is pretty insane, considering the fact that uh, that's times 50,000. Oof. Well, this is confusing. It dropped out of, that's a hay bale. Not even part silage. You know what, whatever, it works. And the last bell is out. I didn't count them though. Uh, there's plenty. I think there's seven. Time to go for the silage bales, and these are pretty simple, but this is why I used the fast bell in the first place. It's just, it makes all of this so easy. I mean, it's just ridiculous how easy this is. Yeah. Well, we got 111 liters extra, so I think we're probably good for now. Let's go ahead and fold up everything, turn it off, get those lights off of there, and let's go talk about this other field over here. Oh, I should probably pick the bales up first, shouldn't I? All right, here's our problem. Uh, we need to unfold, and then we need to get it about right about there. There we go. And we'll unfold everything from there. Boom, ba-doom, boom, 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 boom. Perfect. All right, let's go get the rest of them. Simple enough. 
Bam. Now we really get to have a little bit of fun. Let's find our slurry. Let's fill it up and let's go spread some poo. This uh, really doesn't take too long. This is like 110. Hang on a minute. Ow. We must have put that slurry in there at some point because we're showing 405. I was about to say, over here we've got another 312,000. We got more slurry than we know what to do with. Single application slurry for this field right here and the other grass fields. Okay, so we're almost done with this part. Now, I don't know if I mentioned this. We are gonna be taking, oh, damn. <laughs> totally didn't use that to cheat something out over there on this backside. Yeah, now it's gone. Uh, we are gonna be planting grass in here. We've got all the straw that we need, at least for a little while. You got over a million liters. We're really not using it that much, if I'm honest. So. We are going to not worry about that for a while. We're going to take some time, probably a whole year in game, and go and just get grass. And that's it. A little bit boring, but it's definitely going to make what we're up to next a little bit more fun. And now it is finally done. We've got everything taken care of. Let's go ahead and bring this back. I'm going to dump the slurry out right. Oh, slow it down, baby. Slow it down. Slow it down. Back it up just a little bit. There you go. We'll go ahead and dump that out of there. We'll go ahead and get some grass planted. But let's first talk about the game plan. As I mentioned, the dream is to be able to get the dairy. Now the dairy only costs 70,000. We have 10 times that, 11 times that amount of money right now. So we could easily buy it, but we're not going to because I wanna be able to sell as much milk as possible at the same time, and then we buy it. So we make the money for the milk, then we buy it, and then we could start making other products. And milk can make some pretty cool stuff, like uh, the butter pallet right here and, and and cheese. Yeah, it makes cheese as well. So we'll definitely have to figure out how we're gonna handle those pallets, if we're gonna be doing auto loading or if we're gonna be stacking them or if we're just gonna be selling directly. Selling directly actually makes a lot of sense. Keeps, uh, keeps the shipping and handling charges low. It's time. So we are ready to rock and roll. For some reason it looks different than the other fields, but I think because it's growing, maybe? I'm, I'm, I'm not, I gotta be honest with you, I'm not quite sure, but it's it's there. So, let's finish up, let's come up with our game plan, and uh, you know what, let's kinda see what happens, because it's October now, it's gonna be November, December, January, it's gonna be March before we're able to do anything. But we're gonna buy some between now and then. Oh, so it was grass the whole time. So does that mean it's Changed, ah, there it goes, finally worked. We are also like three months away from getting the most amount of cows ever. So we're three months away from a hundred more Holsteins. But after that, we're five months away. So another one, two months after that, we're gonna get 50 more. And then four months after that, we're gonna get 50, <clears throat> 50 more and, and so on and so forth. Oof. But we are doing pretty good, actually, which is nice. Uh, water's looking good. Milk is looking great. We're over 200,000 liters of milk now, which is awesome. All right, one more month. And here we are, nice into December. Milk is uh, kind of funny. It's two, three, four, two, five, zero. The, the last couple numbers weren't funny, but the rest of it was. I don't know why, but I always forget to bring these stupid bells in. Let's see if we can pull forward real quick. We'll pick them all up. There we go. And we will drop them into here. Should be able to get like right here and then button button. Bam. Aha. So I had a thought. And before we do anything wild and crazy, if we're going to be transporting a lot more milk, I thought, you know what? Let's get a truck and a tanker specifically for this. And so now the other truck could be used for any of the other stuff that we need to do. But this, this could be the official milk truck for our business. And I think it's just perfect. It went with a Bachman blue on everything. And we, of course, went with the same tanker that we have for the back on the other one. So same truck, same tanker, but it's not set up as a slurry spreader anymore. And we got different wheels on this one. I think these look pretty cool. Hey, if we're gonna go new, let's make it fresh. So now's the time. Let's get all of the milk that's in there, which is about 235,000 liters, at least now, because I've sped some time up a little bit. I'm also going to look in here. I don't think there's any milk in this. Nah, no milk in there. We, no, nah, I'm not going to dump it in there. Uh, get out of here. Oh, yeah, by the way, I went with a food grade only uh, sticker on there. I don't know if that's the right sticker to put on milk, but I did it. Now's where we get to have the most fun. That was a little bouncy, wasn't it? We're going to take the milk, 
We're going to bring it over here to the dairy. And we are going to unload. We are going to unload as much milk as it will possibly let us. Oh, we have made that money. There we go. So we got 135,000 liters left in there. We made $232,000. What up, dude? We <laughs> Who built a snowman out of nothing? We are going to buy it. There it is. We've got it. And now we have butter and cheese being made. Nothing on chocolate yet, because of course we can't do anything with that. We've got it set to spawn right now. I think the best thing is going to be to set it to selling, but we do need to upgrade this. So let's upgrade it to level two. And that should be enough to unload. What did I say? We had 135,000 liters left. That's not going to fit in there. Let's upgrade it to level three now. All the milk will fit. And there it is. We have officially started the dairy business in perfect timing as well because that is the end of the first set of the series thank you for watching hope you've enjoyed it and if you're excited for the second part hey let me know down in the comments otherwise just hope you have a good one and uh we'll see you in part two